What is fix and flip and how to do it for the first time? Hey everybody, it's Peter Mancini here from Penn Realty. Today, I want to talk to you about something you probably heard about. Fix and flip in real estate investing. It's one of the most exciting ways to get into real estate, but it can be a bit intimidating, especially if it's your first time. So let's break it down and I'll be referencing insights from The Real Deal, The New York Times, The Wall Street Journal, and the National Association of Realtors, NAR, to help you get started right away. You ready for this journey? Here we go. What is fix and flip? Great question. Let's start with the basics. What exactly is it? According to The Real Deal, fix and flip refers to purchase, purchasing a property that needs repair or renovations, fixing it up and then turning around and selling it for a profit. Sounds simple, right? Well, it can be, but it requires a good eye for properties, strong budgeting skills, and the ability to move extremely quick. Number two, finding the right property. Now, the first step in a successful fix and flip is finding that right property. The Wall Street Journal reports that the key to a good fix and flip is buying a home below market value that has potential for substantial improvements. Now, you want a home with good bones in an area with high buyer demand. The real deal points out that properties in, ready for this, up and coming neighborhoods or ones near revitalized areas tend to offer the best opportunity for flippers. So keep an eye on that and let me help you there. Three, estimating costs and budgets. Once you've found your property, the next step is to make sure your budget works. According to the NAR, one of the biggest mistakes first time flippers make is underestimating the cost of renovations. You need to account for everything from the materials, labor, permits, and then that magic word, inspections. It's also smart to leave room in your budget for unexpected expenses, because trust me, they always come up. The, the New York Times suggests setting aside at least 10 to 15% of your budget for contingencies. Four, financing the flip. Now, how do I finance a fix and flip? Most people don't have the cash to buy or renovate a home outright, so they turn to financing options. What do they do? Now, the Wall Street Journal highlights the, prop the popularity of hard money loans for fix and flip projects. These loans are typically short term and come with a really high interest rate, but can be easier to qualify for than a traditional mortgage. Usually, they're, in they're usually interest only anyway. Make sure you're working with a lender who understands fix and flip processes to ensure you're getting the best deal. Please do your homework on this. Five, renovating for the sale. So once your financing is placed, it's time to renovate. But before you start swinging the hammer, know that you, have, you don't have to do a complete remodel. You can do what's necessary. The NAR emphasizes focusing on improvements that add the most value updating the kitchen and the bathrooms, enhancing the curb appeal. The Times also recommends paying close attention to the local market. You don't want to over improve a home and price it completely out of the neighborhood. So you need to be smart about this and spend your money wisely. Selling for a profit is number six. After the renovations are done, it's time to sell. The goal of a fix and flip is to sell the property quickly and for a profit. Real Deal says timing is crucial. You want to get the home listed ASAP, as soon as possible, as soon as the work is done. But you also need to price it strategically. Uh, they also suggest, the NAR suggests, working with an experienced agent like me who knows the local market to set the perfect price to market your property to the right buyers. You always need someone in your corner. Now remember, Let's recap this whole thing. Fix and flip real estate investing can be a great way to make money. 
but it requires finding what's the first thing? The right property. The second thing, budgeting carefully. The third thing, securing financing. Four, renovating smartly. Five, selling at the right price. By following these steps and learning from the industry experts like The Real Deal, The New York Times, The Wall Street Journal, and NAR, you can confidently tackle your fix, first fix and flip. As always, thanks for tuning in. If you're thinking about getting into the fix and flip game, or if you need help finding that, per that perfect property to get started, reach out to me at penrealty.net. I'm here to help you every single step of the way. Don't forget, guys, to like, subscribe, and share the video with anyone who is looking for their real estate journey. I'm Peter Mancini with Penn Realty. I always promise a signature experience.